Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, Coach Rob, what are we doing? Help. Oh. Help with me with some grommets. Uh oh. Grommet tutorial and help today. Stay tuned. All right, so Coach Rob reached out and said, you need help well, with grommet. Yeah, so I've never changed the Dunlop uh, LX1000, and supposedly they got me the right grommets. Um, we brought our tools, we got awls, clippers, hair dryer. We're ready for action. Okay. So. And since I had never changed one, I definitely didn't want to pull it off and then find out it was the wrong one. Because okay. I'm not sure what year this racket is. Um, so, uh, yeah. So that's the problem with grommets. Um, the companies don't make it easy for anyone to find the right one because every year they change them in little forms when they widen out the mains or bring the mains in a little closer or thicken up the grommet or thin out the grommet, it alters the whole thing. Um, unless you do some clipping of the grommets, which I don't recommend, uh, they won't fit. And because grommets are not a priority to them, uh, they don't produce a whole lot in a- They'd rather you buy a new racket. Very efficient time, exactly. They'd rather you spend the money and buy a new racket. So. So we got the top, which as you can see, this player has uh, perfected the art of hitting their racket scrubbing. on the ground. Perfected on the both art sides. Scrubbing is what right. they did. So the first so thing- So usually don't we just take it all out and see what we got before we- Well, the, fr the, the main thing I want to do is see if the head guard fits first okay. because that's the main part. That's our, yeah. And what I like to do before removing this, do not remove the old head guard because it will not go back in unless you are an engineer to the third degree, um, because it's super difficult to get it back on, especially with the grommets flared out like this in here. Um, it's almost impossible. So what I like to do is I like to hold the racket and I want to line it up right outside. So to see if it actually is going to match the holes this will fit okay this and then also fit. for those on the tag usually it'll tell you um the racket the model dunlop the size the uh this is a 21 lx 1000 um you know so you get a, an idea that hopefully what you're getting matches your racket so they started putting years and versions and models on the tags. Back in the day, sometimes they would just say Dunlop L1000 or LX1000 because they thought that it would never change with different versions. So we don't know if it changes and we don't know if it fits. Like classic, Head used to just put numbers on their grommets, no model no style, no MP, no pro, no prestige. It was just LGT452 channel 5. How am I supposed to know what this fits? Right, that's... <laughs> so, all right, so we know that this one fits already. Now it is time to remove the old head guard, okay? So what we're gonna do is because these grommets are flared, we're gonna cut the flared ones off, okay? Make sure you're only cutting the flared head guard pieces and not the rest of the racket, okay? Because if you cut these off and it's not the right one, you're the one buying them a new racket. Or trying to find the right grommet. You know, this is true. If it exists, <clears throat> right? because I know a lot of rackets that are not existing right now, um, the grommet parts, so. Nurse, thank you. So what I like to do is I shove it into here. I'm trying to show you and do it at the same time, so. Okay, I pry it out. 
So because I cut the flared ones out, it should just pop right out. Ta da! Ta da! There she blows. Okay. Now, depending on the racket, I like to line it up like so. Do you ever clean out when you have it off? Do you ever blow out any? Nah. No, okay. It'll push it out. Mm. But I'd, I'd like to keep these out. I'd like to keep these out. I don't, I try not to drop these down first because if I do, it puts a lot of pressure on this. I'd rather have this in and then drop the ends at last. Okay. okay. So I like to use my Good fingers. Tip. Yeah, I like to use my fingers first just to kind of maneuver my way around. Okay, good. I'm going to need to get it in a certain angle, guys. Sorry. So I'll take this one. Wow, these are long. That's the thing. Because these are so long. Do you need the... Wow. Because these are long grommets, I'm going to have to... This is the rare instance that the wooden one isn't good because I actually need it short um, and Thinner slim. And long. Yeah, because these grommets are that way. So I'm just trying to ease my way around. All I'm doing is guiding it in. So I'm not doing a whole lot of anything right now. I'm just guiding it in. With a little wiggle. Little wiggle, 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 wiggle. When you're doing this, do you ever go from the inside of the frame and try to pull it towards you? I've done that, but I, I don't like doing I was that. taught always to go from the outside in. Right. I've but. seen people do that, but I do it this way because I get my thumb with the leverage of holding it down like right. this. On the outside, I have to go like this, and then I have to do this. Right. I'd rather push rather than... You know, and I thought there was something about the way the all is going in is with the way the string would be. Yes, there is an angle. Um, Correct. Correct. So like it's not straight all the time. It's sometimes you got to turn it a little bit right. so that you can pop it in because not all these are straight. They're Correct. also angled. Yeah. You hear me? I love that popping noise because you know it's going in. Towards the end, there we go. There we go. I'm at the end. Oop. There we go. I gotta go the other side. Voila. Darcy now, blows. I know this player wants us to change the sides out because she is a racket it hits the ground so mm -hmm. um do you same thing you cut the yeah you cut the the um the flared out things right and then you yeah that's easy okay because this is an interesting piece where it looks like this and then it has this which if i line it up right goes somewhat like this but the hole hmm. is a little bit off. Interesting. And then I know on some rackets, they have right and left. I think it was a Wilson. Yes. That you had to look right. down at the bottom. Yes. Because the grommets didn't match up. That is correct. And that was a pain in the that is backside. Correct. Let me check something before we remove anything. Right. Let me just make sure. So this is supposed to be at the bottom. So I think it's down here. Oh, yeah. I was wondering you why there was a gap there. Good eyes. Those two. Yeah. Okay, I cheated. I looked at this earlier. <laughs> okay. 
I mean, we can. That's when I first saw this. This is when I really was like, <clears throat> try Calvary. It. I need the Calvary, we Harry. Try it. <coughs> Let's see. Let me just. I can gently remove this and then see like how it's. I need the sharper one. It's flared already. That's what was so. We're. Wait. Okay. Before I remove this, what's the justification for removing it? Um, because... She hits the ground a lot, so I'm thinking that these are going to chip out over time. And would, so my advice would be not changing it. Let's not change because it because it'll look just like the way it does. Right. There's a reason why this is this way, um, and there is nothing wrong with these. These aren't broken. These are brand new. All right. Well, then we'll just so, let her keep them until something does happen. Okay. So perfect. We would just do that for now. Like it doesn't need to be changed. They're brand new. Right. It looked new there. Right. I was just thinking, knowing that she hits it on the ground. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if it was broken, I would right. say definitely do, do it. it. Okay, so number right. two. So that was our friends at Dunlop. Okay, not too hard. Not, not too hard. Nope. Now this is a little harder. This because is there not are many friendly. versions of the Pure Drive grommet, and I. Okay, let's see which one you got me. This one says. Pure Drive, Pure Drive Plus, Pure Drive. So it says 2016. That's the only thing I have to go on. Um, I could probably go look it up on uh, online to see what a 2016 one looks like. But what I'm probably going to have to do is. So this one is a puzzle in pieces. <clears throat> OK, why? But, but let's not. Why? <laughs> why make it so hard, Babylot? <laughs> because. They French. It takes time to make good croissants. So you can see this, this uh, high school player has uh, thoroughly beaten this almost to the point of um, it's time for a new racket um, with the amount of times this thing has been used. So we're trying to salvage it, trying to get him a little more life out of the frame. Okay. So remember you said one side's longer than the other? Well, this is one of them. Right. Look at that. Right. There's, there's one hole more on one side than the other on that head guard. Why? Why? Ask the French. Wee oui, wee. Oui. OK. So I can look and see one thing. Okay. The first thing I want to do is line it up to see if the holes line up. And what I'm looking for is if the holes are in the same place. And the only way I can do that is if, if I go next to each other like this. And it looks like it does. And also, these go down and holds this down. So I'm also looking at that to see if it, how many it's going to lay on down. And it's going to be two. Um, and then I'm going to flip it over and look on the other side because we're going to see if there's a side and not a side that this is going to fit. Coach. And it may not be the right one. This may not be the right one. So we have two. Yeah, because we're dropping we two, two. And then we're dropping three, three there. But those three don't line up right, looks like. We have one, two. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. Yeah, and then the three. And then one, the spacing's two. Oh, off right. on that. Spacing's off. So let's see something. Um, let me check something before we give up on this. So I'm looking at this piece right here because that drops down, and I'm looking at this piece right here. Do I have that piece? Um, it looks like a shorter piece, which could be this piece. And I'm looking, and again, I'm aligning the holes up. And that's not right because I'm looking here. These two are together and then the third one here. So I'm going to flip it over the other way. And it looks like it fits that way. So Should we put them in? This works. This side works. Okay. okay. Should I'm we gonna, 
Do we ever pre... In, if it was one piece, I would, but because this is more than one piece, I, I'd rather just count holes for right. now. So again, it, it, these tuck in, which means these two tuck in. Let's see if this matches up. So that goes there, that goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. Okay, this is the right piece. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I did though, up close. What I'm looking at is I know that these two drop in here, and then this has to drop in here. Okay, so as you can see, they match up right there. Okay, so that tells me this is the right one. Ooh. Hold on, just make sure. Yeah, this is the right one. Okay, so we're gonna take it apart now. But that's the kind of thing, you gotta waste a little time making sure to make sure you got the right one. So, so I'm gonna pop what's holding this down out one side. I use the back of it to push the grommet out. So if people are wondering, why did we get bring the hairdryer? Um, because in cold weather <laughs> or in old grommets, they actually get stiff. We, we want to work with a soft grommet sometimes. But the key to a hairdryer is we do not want to soften up the actual grommet. We only want to soften up the thing that's holding the grommet so that it stretches. If you have a soft grommet, it's going to be hard to drop it into the hole. You just want to stretch hmm. this part out. So you want to just heat it like for five, 10 seconds, touch it, and then you want to go right after it and pop it right in. That's good to know. Where's my cut? Okay. So it's time. So I'm going to cut out the flareds again. Okay. Find the flareds. Now, should we also see if this piece, if we have this piece? Oh, yeah, we have this piece. It's right here. These are the bottoms. Oh, yeah, these are it. And then isn't there also yeah. more fun on the top? Yes. Okay. But, I mean, the main part we want to focus on is because right. those, those other pieces are, I mean, unless it's like a broken grommet that will affect, you know, like that are not protecting the string anymore. We don't really care about them too much because the main focus is this piece. Okay, so right. let's keep that together because I like to use that for a point of reference. Right. Um, so I saw, so what I'm looking at is one, two, three, like these five, because I want to line that up. So that's going to drop down, which tells me that's going to drop down to there. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I is need that that one? the one that's one, two, three. This is not this the one, one, two, three. This is the one, two, three. Like those three. Those three. Okay. I can't find the whole. No, just, sorry. I know. I know. I'm just a funny person. Yes. Okay. So I got the, I dropped the three in, like so. I dropped the three in. Now, weren't there one where you said start at the top and work your way? Yeah, so what Is I'm... That maybe not this model, but... Certain ones, you have to kind of see what it gives you. Like for this one, we're obviously going to have to start with one side. Right. And then see what happens. As long as you don't drop the last two down, it won't pressurize the whole thing. What I'm going to do since I got the three down is there. it's just going to start guiding the holes in. I'm just guiding the holes into the holes. I, I know it sounds a lot simpler than it, 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 it sounds and looks probably a lot simpler, but th it's kind of what I'm doing. Um, 
That one's got to come back towards yep, yep, it, towards. Yep. I think it's gotta go this way. Like that? Right? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I'll get that in. Yeah. There. Yep. I'm good. So it's just guiding it into the hole. That's all I'm doing right now. But I know a lot of you have a lot of problems doing this. Um, so I just did the one piece. All I'm doing is, I want to I think that's I the can, next one. That's the middle part. Yeah, so the middle part is here. You could actually do the middle one on this one first. It probably wants you to do that. And the reason I say that is because if you look at the piece, this will actually tell you, look, there's a drop in there on the ends, right? There's something that's supposed to be on top of that. So it probably wants you to drop that in first, which I didn't do, but, but since I know what I'm doing, it doesn't matter a whole lot. It becomes an issue. All right, so I, I try to do it with my hands first, as you can see, okay? And then all I do, is just guide it in. This obviously is one of the harder pure drive ones to do. You know, right after you master uh, an old pure drive, then the new one comes out and makes it harder for you. Okay, so you see where this flap sticks out? Right. Right. All you have to do is just. Which is probably why they wanted that to go down first. Correct. So you just. Bring this one back out and just send that one back down. Send one over and push that under. See? There we go. See what I did? Okay. I just lifted the other one so I could drop that one. All right. Let me... Okay. So I think this is the next piece. That is correct. So what I like to do again is make sure I'm lining it up. It is a puzzle. And make sure I'm doing it right. And there's my three. Again, I look for like three holes, three grommets right there. Okay. So that. So this would be an interesting thing right here because it's fighting me a little bit at this point. So a hair dryer right about here would probably help. Okay, but let me see if I can do it without it. Would you start from the other side and, uh, or maybe not, just because it's tight? Well, because I'm, I'm on a roll up top, so I need to just, because this is already pulling the whole thing, I want the next pull, and then I want the next pull, yeah. and then I want the next pull, versus starting over with the pulls here. Because if I start... If I start here, right. then I have all this to pull versus one at a time pulling down this way. Right, makes sense. Yeah. Or it could just be all one piece like some other companies do. <laughs> like the rest, all the other companies do, you mean? I know. We've struggled with this for 30 years now because Pure Drive is now 30 years old, and I all I hear about is grommets. Oh, grommets. I can't put this on. Is there a, a f sort of a base fee that people charge for grommet installation? Because if you did it based on your own personal time of how long it took you? <laughs> I feel like when I was growing up, people didn't used to charge for this. But it was a lot easier. Yeah, but with the uh, introduction of Babolat grommets, people started charging just because it just took a lot longer. Right. So, but I remember when I was growing up that it was just a free service that people would do. Right. Okay. Yeah. When I was growing up, but 
but I saw people also do it in like seconds. Right. I think with the head one is like one piece that goes from the bottom all the way to the top and the other piece goes from the bottom all the way to the top. Mm -hmm. Can we plug in that hairdryer? Sure. Let's plug in that hairdryer. I'm going to use it because I got an awl with a broken tip. So I need to get a little more leverage than I normally need. I just need it for a second because I know this is actually the worst one. So what we're going to do is heat up the... Because this is a hair dryer, we're going to wait a little longer. A heat gun would be a lot faster. Do you feel? Okay. Let's see if I can do that. I feel the warmth. Hopefully I feel the head guard go through or the grommet go through. Feeling good. Oh, feeling good. That felt good. Okay. So we're in. Number one, make sure it fits. Okay, make sure the grommets line up correctly. Even if we're off a little bit, probably not gonna fit, okay? Because it could be literally off a millimeter and you're gonna have a hard time getting it in and it's gonna bulge out or it's not gonna stretch out to the right uh, distance. Like we had one where somebody was using a Pro Staff 97 version mm -hmm. 13 and they ordered, but they had a 97L version 13 and they ordered the 97 Ooh. version 13 Ooh. and the L is a little different. Ooh. So off it went back and reordered. Yes. Yeah. The, so even if it's the same, almost the same. Yeah. It, it won't fit. It makes sure, so you have to make sure the year of the racket with the grommet is right, the model is right, the version is right. Because, I mean, back in the day it was easier and they fit to each other, but now because of advances in what the companies want to do, they alter them ever so slightly and they don't fit. Okay? Coach awesome. Rob. Thanks, Harry. <laughs> Thanks for being the cavalry. Uh, I, had to, I had to call you. I'll save you any time, man. Thank you. All right. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.